What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, it's a member requested and voted on video. So I got to give my mem channel members what they want. For those of you not familiar with the channel membership, you just click the join button down below. It'll pop up all the different tiers and what's offered. You can decide if it's for you. No harm, no foul. Glad to have you here for the video nonetheless. So I've got 10. Can be found for under $40 USD. We've got some cheaper designers, car company stuff, cheaper Middle Eastern stuff. Got a little bit of everything, but all of these on my skin give me minimum eight hours plus, most of them 10, 12 and beyond, and are pretty loud off of my skin because I know when you're looking for most powerful, you want long lasting and you want to make a statement, you want them loud. So let's talk about them. Stay tuned. Starting with one of the best bubblegum fragrances I've ever smelled. It's a monster that you really don't need but two or three sprays to really make a statement. If you spray this one heavy, you're going to choke yourself out with cool water intense. It is that jam. I've been When it comes to beast mode lists and stuff, I've been talking about this one for years now. It's so good. It really is. You do get a little bit of the coconut amber combo going on, but I get plenty of ambroxan that's not listed. And it gives me kind of that bubblegummy, very shower gel, playful, youthful type of appeal. Compliment getting blue fragrance. Monster, though. Absolute monster off of my skin. You don't need much. You can go nose blind to this. It's very synthetic. Uh, and like I said, very youthful and playful. Nothing serious here. Not something I would want to reach for with a suit and tie or go out to dinner with. But if you're looking for something to garner some attention, $35 to $40 range, I believe, is what you can get this $42. 4.2 ounce bottle for I'll have links to everything I can find down below for you guys and uh, I would strongly encourage you if you like the bubblegum type scent profiles this is a beast it's definitely worth checking out let's dab it off cool water intense one that can be had in the $25 ish range 25 to 30 bucks smells like your Sauvage elixir with a little bit of a twist on it due to this pineapple freshness in the top a little bit of a coffee note in the heart it's Latafa Assad. This is a monster performer. This is another one, 10 plus hours, easy on skin, and it's very loud. You don't need a lot of sprays. Now, it's not the nuclear face melter that Sauvage Elixir is, but it comes pretty close. This is still a straight up beast. <sighs> this smells phenomenal. This is so good. I love the twists and the tweaks to this because it's not a one to one carbon copy. It is similar to, inspired by, I guess you could say, with its own sprinkles put in, I guess you could say. Like they, they copied the ice cream, but put a different topping. How's that for an analogy? So this is some good stuff, guys. High compliment factor. Uh, it is definitely on the more masculine, warm, and robust side of things. Very spicy fragrance, woodsy, spicy, uh, uber masculine type of scent profile. Not warm weather friendly. I mean, do what you want, but I'm not looking to wear this one in the summer. But in the evenings, year-round, indoors, sure, it'll work fine. Be easy on the sprays. But early spring, fall and winter especially, this is great anytime, in my opinion. Absolute beast for the money. Latafa Assad. Now, this to fall into this price bracket, it's going to be dictated mostly by bottle size. 50 mLs, you can definitely find in this range. Now, this is one that you will go nose blind to. I... Go nose blind to it as well, but it's one of the best versatile, mass appealing blue compliment magnets ever made. It's Versace Dylan Blue. Big, big fan of this one. It kind of encompasses all of the greatness of what a blue fragrance can do. It's got citrus. It's got darker nuances like incense. It's got spices like a gingery feel. It's got woods. It's got aquatics and ambroxan. It's got a little bit of everything. Very synthetic, but very attractive. This one works. This is a great spot to start. This is great for younger fellas that are looking for just that one fragrance. This is great for just the go-to dumb reach when you don't know what else to wear for those of you with larger collections and something just enjoyable. It just smells good. No matter how synthetic smelling it is, out in the air, this stuff smells great. The airspace where I just sprayed it, nonstop while I'm speaking, I'm getting some, some air through my nose and it smells incredible right now. Like I said, you're gonna have to be in the 50 ml bottle size range to fall into the price bracket, but I had to include this one because I could have made a list of strictly cheap Middle Eastern fragrances because those are beasts for the money. But I wanted to have some designers in here that I think are just great all around and worth checking out. And if you're looking for one of the more powerful 
designers out there that you can get in the price bracket, you're going to want to check out Versace Dylan Blue. Now, I can't speak for your skin. I can speak for mine. This is one of the more powerful fragrances I own. It smells like a fruitier, smoother take on Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male. It's from Afnan. It's called 9 p.m. This stuff is a banger of a scent profile, first and foremost. It smells incredible. Dare I say better than Ultra Male. My opinion. You may not feel that way. That's how I feel. But it's a beast. This stuff is so loud. So strong. And God, this smells good. So strong and long-lasting. Instead of the fruity, fresh pear note, it's a juicy, sweet fruit apple much fruitier and the oil quality here I think is better I do it smells smoother it's not as screechy and synthetic in the opening look I love Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male I'm not knocking it but if I had to pick between the two the clone's better one of those rare occasions that I would encourage you to check out the clone for 25 30 bucks or whatever you can get it for I'll have a link below it's cheap it performs and the quality here helps it punch way above its price point in my opinion it is ultra powerful too. I've seen people say that it's weak on their skin. I really think they're going nose blind to it. It's anosmia, but hey, I'm not them. It's not my skin. It's not my experience. I can only tell you how they act on me, guys. And this one, one of the three strongest in this video, easily. And they're all strong. That's why they're in this damn video. So worth checking out. If you like sweet fragrances, safe blind buy. If you're not a fan of sweet, maybe you're nervous about sweet, Try to get a decan online if you can. But at the end of the day, you're going to spend less than 30 bucks. You could do worse. You could do a lot worse, actually, than Afnan, 9 p.m. Now, it's somewhat cliche to use this in a video topic like this, but it still holds true. It's still a beast for under 40 bucks. It's a little bit more expensive. You used to be able to get it under 30. Now it's under 40. It's in the 30 some odd dollar range. I looked recently. But Bentley for Men Intense. Still great quality uber uber masculine smoky boozy leather woods it's kind of how you can look at it. it's very rough, aggressive masculine strong stuff but classy stuff this is good i'm spraying that again it's been a little while since i've smelled it this is a great fragrance now admittedly i do like for men the non-intense version more than this but i sure appreciate the just punchiness the aggressive nature of this fragrance in its scent profile and the way it smells and in its performance. It's an aggressive fragrance. This is one of the truest naming of fragrances I've ever seen. It is intense in every sense of the word for what a fragrance can be. It's intensely masculine. It's intense smelling. It's got an edge to it. It's rough while still being quality, but very intense in its longevity. It lasts a long ass time and intense in its projection and sillage. It reaches out and grabs. If you heavy spray this one, you're going to offend yourself, let alone other people, because it's very, very strong. Still, to this day, even after all these years of the hype, when it comes to this type of topic, it still deserves to be here. Bentley for Men, intense. Now, here's another one you'll hear people say. You'll hear people complain about performance. I don't understand. What about my batch? What's your manufacturer date? My manufacturer date is my juice color looks like that. Why is my juice not the same color? My juice is like yours, and it doesn't perform like that for me, and blah, 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 blah. I hear it all, guys. Rasasi Hawass. It's a monster. You're going anosmic. But my girl doesn't smell it. She's going anosmic, too. You can go anosmic in a matter of seconds. That kind of stuff happens. This is crazy, crazy strong. Crazy strong. And what I was leading into saying, when you see stuff like that, you'll see the counter side to it of people saying, bro, I can't do more than three sprays. I get compliments every time I wear it. Man, it fills a room with only two. How are you, Ross, how do you spray it four times? I only need two. So you get both sides of the fence. I can tell you from my experience and you know, a handful of friends of mine that have a variety of juice colors and different manufacture date batch variations of this fragrance, we all get a beast. We all have a beast. So I really believe it's anosmia. There's, they're not putting out watered-down, weak batches, guys. When it comes to Rasasi Hawass, the hype is real. Now, do you like how it smells? That's completely subjective. And obviously, mileage is going to vary. The beast it is on my skin, which we're talking about 12 hours easy, four sprays max. I sprayed five sprays the first time, and then I dialed it back because it's so strong on my skin. And it's back to being in that 40-ish dollar range. This one's kind of cheating 
the topic a little bit because it's a little over 40 bucks, but it was going to be hard not to have it in here because I guarantee you people were going to say, bro, I can't believe you didn't put Rasasi Hawass in here. Because it's, when it comes to affordability and performance, complement factor, attractiveness, chemically synthetic, don't get me wrong, it doesn't smell expensive. But this is great stuff. This has been hyped for years. I was very late to the party, but it is great. It's a great fragrance. It's one of the better affordable fragrances in my collection. It's top five easily. It's really good stuff. You should try this if you haven't yet. If you're looking for an affordable beast, you need Rasasi Hawass. Now this one may surprise you because a 50 ml like this you can get under $25. I get between 8 and 10 hours of longevity and it's surprisingly strong on my skin. It's a Zorro Chrome Intense. I've been talking about this one a lot on the channel as of late. I got it recently and I've been really very much enjoying this fragrance. It's good. Really good. Underappreciated version of Chrome in the Chrome line. Because they've put out so many good fragrances in this line, it's easy to get overshadowed by the elite tier flankers, which I would consider something like Chrome Extreme. The cream of the crop when it comes to this line, but this is no slouch. It performs pretty much on par for me as Chrome Extreme, which I deem to be the strongest version of Chrome in performance. And it's not quite as oceanic and metallic. It's got a musky, fresh, spicy tone while still being watery with a sharp citrus tone. Sharp, but not metallic. I really, really dig this one. Um, I don't know if I'm bringing back hype and hope for this one or what, because it's been out for years, and I know I'm late to the game on it. I wanted to get it for a long time, but man, this is just, if you like the Chrome DNA, this is a safe blind buy for you. And I would hope others get the kind of performance I do from this because it's a performer. Like I said, sharp citrus, bright, fresh spices, musk, not as hefty on the shower gel as the original is, but still aquatic. This is good stuff. The Zorro Chrome Intense. One of the strongest sweet floral fragrances is Mancera's Instant Crush. Well, that can't fit this pricing bracket, but what can is its clone from Paris Corner in the Amir line called Super Crush. Super Crush is pretty much the exact same beast. It's not as, look, it's hard to say that it's not as good of quality because, I mean, it's very close because Instant Crush is a little on the synthetic side because it's so full of amber wood, but this still has the white floral jasmine tone, the burnt sugar smell. It nails down the scent profile. Whew, I got this one recently, and, and it's impressive. Like, out in the air, I, I'd be, you'd be hard-pressed to tell me which one's Instant Crush and which one's Super Crush because it's pretty damn hard for me to tell with them side by side. That's why I say the quality's almost the same, because of the use of amber wood in the Mancera fragrance, it doesn't make for some high-end luxury quality smell. But I'll tell you what, this, it's overtaken this airspace big time. You'd swear I just sprayed it five times the way it smells. This stuff is a monster. You gotta like sweet florals. It's a take on Baccarat Rouge's DNA, just more floral. Like I said, it has that burnt sugar, saffron type of smell that Baccarat Rouge is known for. The jasmine's heightened, strong dose of amberwood, that warm wood smell, a little bit of embroxin type of feel. Amberwood's good for that. You get that here. Great performer, smells incredible, perfectly unisex, leans feminine, fellas. Keep that in mind if you've never tried Instant Crush. This is one of the, this is probably the best dupe I've tried of them. I haven't tried every Instant Crush dupe. This is the one, though. This would be the measuring stick, basically, because it's damn good, and it's a monster. Paris Corners Emir Super Crush. So you didn't really think we were going to get through this video without our moths clubbed in a wee intense man, right? Still strong after all these years. Still a beast. $28 to $36 range still, thankfully. This is the Eau de Toilette. If you want the loudest one, you want the Eau de Toilette. Not my favorite version. My favorite version would not have fit this price bracket because it goes for $55, $60. My favorite version is the limited edition Parfum. Really like the Pure Perfume. It falls into that same price bracket. The EDP, I think, falls into this range, but I haven't tried it. I don't have experience to recommend it. But the Eau de Toilette, it is kind of a lemon pledge, synthetic lemon smell that you may have heard about on the internet. It does have that going on. I've never been bothered by it. I actually like it. I think it gives it a unique scent character for being a Creed Aventus clone. 
that's its twist. It's got this lemon opening. Sharp lemon. Cheap smelling lemon. But with the smokiness and the tart, dark fruitiness, it works. This smells great. This is one of the most complimented fragrances ever created. Not Creed Aventus, specifically Club de Nuit Intense Man Eau de Toilette. There's countless people I've talked to on the internet over the years that this is one of, if not their most complimented fragrance. There's just something magical in the air about this. I've called it smoky magic so many times over the years because there is a magical quality to this aroma in the air by passers-by and even for you in the wearing experience. Look, I get not everybody's here for it. Some people hate this fragrance and don't understand what people like me are talking about. Not everything's for everybody. But if there was ever a fragrance that I would say roll the dice, there's a chance you're going to hate it because it's chemically synthetic. But if you want to find out what all the stuff you've heard over the years is all about, the only way to do it is to smell the fragrance. I don't think it's that easy to get a sample of Club Didn't Win Intense Man. But boy, for 30 bucks, you can just try your luck for this 3.6 ounce bottle, six ounce bottle. And it's, for me, 10 to 12 hours in longevity. Easy every time I've ever worn it. And it's loud. It's really loud. The sillage is pretty strong, too. It is the strongest version of this scent. The other ones are smoother. The other ones smell a little better in some ways to me. I like them more. But if you want the power, the power, power! Yeah, I did it. You want our moth Club de Nuit Intense Man. Last but not least, Frosted Frozen Pineapple. I had to include this one. I wanted to include one from the house. They use 50% oil concentration. Their fragrances last forever. And they're loud, especially a freshie like this. Summer Vibes 4.0 from Authenticity Perfumes. Literally, there's aquatic notes. There's a clean musk. Very clean, musky base. It's like they took their clean musk named fragrance, which is awesome. If you like clean, musky fragrances, it's appropriately named. They took that as a base, and then they added mint, pineapple, and aquatic notes, and they created this. It literally smells, and I feel like a broken record because I say this every time I talk about this fragrance. It smells like sliced, freshly sliced pineapple that's been sitting in the ice chest, iced down. You get out on the beach, you want to cool down with some fruit, you pull some slices of pineapple out the ice chest. It's frozen pineapple. This, the hype is real, people. This is my favorite from the house. Clean Musk being one of my favorites as well. And I really believe this was that was the base to create this fragrance. This is so good. Man, this is so good. Wife's a big, big fan of this. If you like tropical fragrances, if you like pineapple in general, and no, it smells nothing like Creed Aventus, because when people hear pineapple, they immediately think of that, because the most famous pineapple fragrance of all time. Smells nothing like that. This is a very tropical, fruity, fresh, invigorating, hot summer's day, by the beach vibe type of fragrance. Hence the name, Summer Vibes. This is the fourth rendition of the Summer Vibes fragrance, and it is the best version to date. I would encourage you to check this one out. Again, that's Authenticity Perfumes, Summer Vibes 4.0. Well, that's the 10 that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe because I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. What of these 10 have you tried? Do you own? Do you get monstrous performance from these? Are they weaker for you on the other side of the coin? Like I said, everybody's skin's different. I'm not saying all the stuff I've heard of Hawass is bullshit. Just sounds like a bunch of it because everybody I know personally that has it, monster on their skin. But it, like I said, everybody's skin is different. You never know. I really believe it to be a nausea most of the time because if the majority are telling you these fragrances are strong, they're strong. They're, they're strong. And for me, all 10 of these, strong. <laughs> so next time I will say if you get your hands on any of these 10 and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.